So it's 3-1 in favor of MBI, but Cambria has runners at first and third. And a clutch single there by Alt. Now Hatch, the left-handed hitter. And he lines one into left field. That ball will get down, and that will score the second run for Cambria. And now it's a one-run affair at 3-2. to two. You've got the tying run at second. You've got the go-ahead run at first base. So MBI, who has led this entire game, now in danger of losing the lead. But they got their ace pitcher looking to get a complete game here in this 73-plus National Division National Championship game. It's a winner-take-all as we're coming to you from Indian School Park. And now we're going to get a courtesy runner at second base. Can MBI hold on? and capture the 73 and over. Now Johnson, and Elson delivers a strike on the inside corner. Infield playing a double play depth. The pitch, and a bouncing ball. This could do it. They'll go second one. And the throw to first by Jeffers, and this one belongs to MBI. They are national champions. Calcagno started that 6-4-3 game-ending double play. Jeffers on the great turn. You got a strong arm infield with Teeter at third. And our Marucci player of the game is Howard Elson. He goes the distance, gives up only two runs. And MBI, they had some pressure. This Cambria team, outstanding. John Arnold, he had a great game on the mound, too. Take nothing away from him. He throws a complete game, number two for Cambria. But it's MBI taking the 73 and over National Division National Championship. Let's send it down to the field. Yeah, can you hang on while we get a picture? And if I can have somebody's help pass out these little hats. Turn sideways. Turn sideways and get more of us in. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Cheese, cheese. What's it look like? Wait, wait, wait. Wow. A group becomes a team when each member is confident enough in his own contributions to praise only the skills of the others. That's my saying. Well, Mr. Elson, congratulations. Uh, championship, three in a row for you, counting the Folkers, and uh, that's awfully nice to be holding that big thing. Yeah, it sure is, and uh, I share this with the whole team, and especially uh, the defense, the infield. I love, I love pitching with a good defense because uh, I want the guys to hit the ball on the third or fourth pitch to somebody, and uh, they didn't miss hardly any of them, and uh, I appreciate that very much. It's a great team. Well, it was a tremendous game. Uh, how were you feeling in that ninth inning? Uh, they put a lot of pressure on you and your teammates. Um, I didn't feel any pressure. I felt like uh, at that point in the game, my four-seam fastball was acting like a two-seam fastball and dying at the plate. And all I wanted them to do was hit ground balls. Uh, first guy up lifted one and had a nice base hit. Uh, everything else was just a ground ball, and I knew sooner or later I was going to get a double play out of these guys with, uh, with a pitch that uh, just died at the plate, and that's what I was looking for. Howard Elson, complete game, two runs, world champs, and playoff MVP. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Go yeah. MBI. I just want to take a picture. That away. Congratulations, guys. This is the heart and soul right here. Uh, Jim, congratulations. It took great Thank defense you. and great pitching to win this one. All right. I enjoyed it. And the three Berries guys from San Diego persevere and have the world championship for Berries Athletic Supply, which is no longer playing in the 70 division, but we are. Jerry Enko, Jack Valentine, Jim Teeter. Still champs. Still champs. Nope. In any other division, you can't get a big one. <laughs> the only guys in this picture are the ones not taking a nap. Yeah, right.
Scooch. Oh, hey, dude. Come on, dude. Woo. Hey, Castillo, what? Awesome. All right, guys, thanks a lot.